Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Jess is on maternity leave, so Lauren's filling in. And we got a special guest in the building. Her album, Revenge, is out right now, ladies and gentlemen. Money Long, welcome back. Here. How you feeling? Man, I'm tired. I'm trying to keep up. I'm tired? See? It's fashion week. So I like you... those honest answers. Nah, I mean, it's a lot, you know? Mm hmm. Trying to keep up, trying to mm -hmm. entertain everybody, get sleep so I can sing. Do promo. Mm -hmm. Be a mom. Yeah, be a mom. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah. And then this week you in Fashion Week because you've been out and about? Yeah, I did uh, two shows the first day. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I've just been doing other album promo. That's what I'm really here for. Gotcha. What's your yeah. regimen like? Like, do, when do you sleep? Are you eat? Do you eat different when you on runs like this? Or Yeah, like I get so hyper-focused, sometimes I forget to eat. Oh. Um, mm, that's not good. Yeah, so I have to have people remind me, like, we need to eat some. Mm. Um, my routine is all over the place. And one thing I do make sure I do is wash my face every night and just kind of like. The makeup and depress. Mm -hmm. De decompress. decompress. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I have to, I don't know if this is a word, but like de stimulate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like if I'm over stimulated throughout mm -hmm. the day, um, I come home, I just don't want to talk. Nobody anyone. talks about that enough overstimulation because we're we sitting around with these phones all day and between text messages and phone calls and social media, you're constantly, constantly, constantly stimulated. It's um, it's more like in the physical mm -hmm. world. So like sometimes you go in these spaces, they're dusty. You know my allergies. <laughs> you know, a lot of these buildings, but yo, I don't understand I hope we're not how y'all dusty. Are we all right? No, I'm good. It's got, I'm good. I can all breathe right, clearly cool. in here. Cool. Okay. Um. I don't see how y'all don't have dust in y'all. Like, me and my friends, we be in the same place. Mm -hmm. They don't have these problems, but I blow my nose up. You having like dust particles? Hella dust. Yeah. Crazy. Man. But it'd be cold. Sometimes I'd be hungry. I feel like a Sims character. You know, if y'all play Sims, like, they'd be cold, tired, hungry, mm -hmm. need to take a bath. Mm -hmm. And then I got to talk to people and like smile. And I always take a photo if somebody asks me. So sometimes I just be like, Money long, like, look, I'm go. tired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what yeah. about, what about tired. dusty men? What about them? Just in general, like, you ever, ever run across any of those? They'd be scared to talk to me. They should be if they dusty. Yeah, no. <laughs> Most, I make guys nervous. Really? Mm -hmm. Someone's told you that? No, like, I can see it. I see their lips okay. quivering when they talk to me. Their lips oh, quivering? Mm-hmm. Well, guys been trying to holler at you? No, nah, holler just in be in my presence. Like, mm -hmm. they, um, you know, I don't go outside. Mm -hmm. So, like, when they see me in person... They'd be like, oh shit, she's actually really pretty. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How do you feel when people say that to you? Like when they see you in person, like, oh my gosh, she's so she's really pretty in person. Um, because I don't use filters and a lot of stuff yeah. like that. So, but I think um, like I have a really great makeup artist mm -hmm. and glam team. Give God so, some credit, money loan. Glow by God. <laughs> Give God some credit now. <laughs> Shout out to Jesus. There you, um, there you go. <laughs> but not like I actually look like my pictures mm -hmm. when I show up. So I think that's surprising. Mm -hmm. For a lot of people, I used to get offended. Though, I'm not gonna lie. I used to be like, "What you mean? Like you so pretty in person? What if was I ugly?" <laughs> I thought that before. You know, but no, nah, no, nah, I understand what they're saying. Is like, actually like, <laughs> yeah, look like my picture. I, for, I posted this on TikTok. Like, how does that make you feel when people say that? Because why? I don't know why I was saying. You set yourself up. You know all the time. Yeah, yeah. just <laughs> dusty men. You, set you might. Up. It might be some dust coming from that way that. over there. <laughs> I also <laughs> didn't. Um, I didn't have a self concept until like maybe. Mm, six or seven years ago. What does that mean? I didn't understand how people perceive me. Mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't know that that was a thing. How do you think they perceive you? Um, Like a regal, like I don't need any help. Mm -hmm. Um, Like I have it all together. Is that because you got money? Like, that's why? No, it's always been like that. Even in high school. Wow. You know, people just kind of just look at me as like this... Uh, Unicorn. Mm -hmm. Probably because you had a level of confidence that they didn't have. It wasn't confidence. It was obliviousness. I, like, I literally just used to be like, hey, did he oh, look a bird? Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you very... were just doing you, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't have um, a concept of like dark skin, light skin, like none of that. Wow. Mm -hmm. Pretty ugly. Mm -hmm. That's a great space to be in. Yeah, I no, I got, I'm lucky in that regard where mm -hmm. like I never had any confidence issues Mm -hmm. Um, maybe like some weight fluctuation. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I wish I was skinny. But then, like last time I was here, I was like super skinny. Now I've been that, and now I'm just like, yeah, nah. 
it's not comfortable. Like everything hurts. You know what I'm saying? Like sitting in a chair when you don't got no ass. <laughs> oh, I don't know what you mean because we we dragging over here. I don't know. Yeah, you know I got a little oh, wagon these days. You know what I'm saying? Like why? Because it's it's a thing. Like you know, I, I know why what you're saying. Why you decided to lie when Money Long mm-hmm. came in this morning? She don't got a wagon. I do got a wagon. She said she got a wagon. I've never looked. I don't. Know. <laughs> All right. Well, the album Revenge. <laughs> Who are you getting revenge on, Money Long? Anybody, whoever slept on me, whoever tried me, whoever tried to stop forward motion. I think the best revenge is seeing me everywhere. Mm-hmm. I be, I know I make you itch. Mm. Is that and for anybody that for or is that for somebody in particular that you know people try to ish on you? Oh, yeah. A lot of people. You know, I've been around for a long time. So, mm. like, I helped a lot of people get from, you know, point A to point B. With that pen of yours? Yeah, just, mm-hmm. like, showing up, helping um, come up with, like, I mean, I don't just write songs. Like, I, I come up with, like, the theme and mm-hmm. a treatment. And, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of times those ideas get taken and you don't get compensated yeah. for that. Mm-hmm. Um I think that just comes with being a creative. Like, I'm an all-around creative, so mm. I can't help but share my point of view. Um, and, yeah, like, a lot of people did not think that I would get to this level. Um, and the reason why I know that is because they'd be like, man, you really did it. Like, you did not give up. Mm-hmm. Like, why are you saying it like that? Mm-hmm. Like, you do you know something that I don't know? Mm-hmm. Um, but also, I know a lot of the people like what they said because the industry is very small small, and I just never um I never like I know what you said I just this is your way of doing that this is your way of doing that I mean I don't really care that much but like um I'd rather see who you actually are Mm -hmm. rather than like alert you that I'm onto you because then you could change it yeah Why, why did this body of work make you use that title like, like what, what about these 14 songs made you say, I'm going to name this Revenge? So that was the last song that we did on the album. Um, one day, Teron Thomas from Rock City, who's written like so many hits in the last, I don't know, five years. Mm-hmm. And then um, the dream was there and he just came, they just came to say hello. And I looked around the room, I was like, we got Tricky, the dream, me. Deron Thomas and Kukuro, who does my vocal producing. Mm-hmm. And I was like, there's no way I'm about to let y'all walk up out of here and not get a song. Like, this mm-hmm. is crazy. Yeah. So we was talking about relationships and, you know, Dream. He liked to argue. So mm-hmm. he was talking about just, like, the male versus female dynamic and uh, how women are, like, bitter sometimes when they don't get their way, blah, blah, blah. And sorry if I'm messing that up, Dream. I'm, I'm just paraphrasing. Um, so I started talking about just, like, I just don't want to spend – Expend my energy that I could be putting into accomplishing my goals by engaging right. in your whatever it is, it's like exhausting. your drama, your... A lot of times people want you to do the emotional labor for them. Like, oh, you made me feel like this. Mm-hmm. Okay, I apologize. It won't happen again. But I'm also not going to sit here and um, lie to you and tell you that I'm going to change anything to make you feel better. That's your work. You have to do that. And so I don't want revenge. I'm just gonna continue growing and developing as a human being, glowing up. Um, And that is the best revenge or the best get back, you know? I don't got time for all the petty stuff. Mm -hmm. I know you you talked on the cruise show a bit about this and you revealed there that you and your I guess it's a estranged husband. I don't know what the title would be. You guys had separated, and it was for it was kind of similar. Like you, you said you just were tired of dealing with like drama and people not being happy and things of that nature. How much of that went into this album, and like, how much of it do we feel when we listen to these songs? Um, I think like as a, this was the first time as an artist that I actually was writing things that, um, were straight from my like brain, like a diary. Yeah. Before it was like uh, living vicariously or hearing a story from one of my friends. And, and it actually um, was very scary because I don't like people in my business. And I also understand that like, if you watch that whole interview, I was very specific with what I said. I didn't say any of the words that were in the headlines. Mm-hmm. Divorce or anything. I did not yeah. say that. I went back and listened earlier because I wanted to hear your exact words. And I felt like, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I felt like you were you were just a bit exhausted by whatever that situation was. 
I'm just exhausted, period, of like anybody or anything that is trying to pull you into negativity or mm -hmm. pull your focus or bog you down. I just don't want to do it. Like you could wake up every day and choose to be happy. Fact. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Every single day is a new day. Yeah. But you Start also over. left the door open too, because you said, you know, <laughs> things can change. He can work on himself, and maybe things could change in the in the future. You still feel that way? And and have y'all worked on it at all? Who is y'all? Okay, maybe Me? not. Has he worked on himself? Then I should say. I don't know. I have no idea. You you only you, the only way you know is results. Like you know what I mean? Every day you just choose a better action. In the day before, like mm -hmm. you, you make adjustments. That's why I say um, the best apology is change behavior. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, the only way I will know that you won't hurt me is if you don't. The mm. only way I know that, you know, you are you are gonna do what you say is if you do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, actions mm -hmm. versus yeah. words. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's for anyone. Like I said, with my own mama, my granny, like the, the only person who won't get that kind of um attitude for me would be my child you know what i'm saying because it's my responsibility to help him grow um into a, a wonderful human mm -hmm. to operate at his highest level on this planet everybody else that's on you and eventually even him one day i'm gonna have to let that's him right. mm -hmm. do his thing um it ain't gonna be too far how old is he two. Oh yeah he got yeah. a long way to go you got about 14 yeah. years yeah yeah now his birthday is we have our birthday's on the same day actually so oh, next wow. week virgo mm-hmm mm -hmm. When they get about 16, that's when they start to become their own little persons. He already is now. Yeah. He'd be like, no. <laughs> I'm like, okay, whatever you say. You know, you end the, you end the album with a song called uh, Ruin Me. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like a person can really ruin you? Um, It depends on, like, your interpretation of the record. Mm -hmm. I think that when I say it, I'm saying that most guys, and, like, I'm not an expert, I'm not saying all men, but it's always a man. Um, they want a dummy. They want a dummy. They want someone who will not question them, will not, I think that's what they mean by submissive. You want to be able to continue moving through life undeveloped, um, unmotivated, un-whatever. You don't want someone to challenge you and push you. Um, and so a lot of times guys won't change. They'll just go find someone who will accept their negative or poor choices. Uh, I think we got to put a thumb in front of men and guys. Some men, some guys. Well, no, I said it's not all men. Yeah, that's not But that's, it's always yeah. a man. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. um, I just think that, again, when I say you ruined me, I'm wise now. I do not believe you when you say Oh, I love you so much, but your actions are doing something else. Mm -hmm. So you ruin me for everybody else because now I'm watching. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's no more like blind, mm -hmm. falling in love, loving your dirty draws. Like, mm -mm. I love myself. And you can support that. And I will allow myself to be in your space. And you can experience me loving myself. Mm. Like, you got to meet me where I'm at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we move. So it's my job to love me. It ain't my job to. That is a fact. Give that to you. And by me loving me, mm -hmm. it will pour over onto you and you will feel love. That right? is a fact. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. It's not about to be no, I'm dropping everything every time a nigga call, mm -hmm. I'm cooking, I'm cleaning. I'm... Mm -mm. Does that make it, I mean, this is, I was gonna say, does that make it tough for you when you think about trying to move forward and possibly dating? But this is all new. Like, are you even in that space yet where you're even exploring other men? I'm tired of everybody. Why, mm. I, I read you before, got a real fuck these niggas energy yeah. going on right now, Money Love. No. Well, you said, you've always said you didn't like dating before your husband. Mm -mm. So if you. I don't really like people. You don't go outside. <laughs> yeah. Right. So <laughs> the dating thing happened. No. No. Um, I will say that I, I'm just really, I'm understanding like the game. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like there's different games being played. So like there's the relationship game, mm -hmm. the marriage game, the career game, the frequency game, like, and I'm just focused on like getting my foundation right and getting everything together so that any game I decide to go play, good. I'm straight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Feel you. Um, I think that as women, sometimes we get distracted by relationships 
and we start putting everything into it. So I'm not saying no. Um, Money long is fed to fuck up. Yeah, I, yeah, it, I feel it. I feel no, it. but it's just, my life is great, even with the things that um, are challenging. It's nothing to like be mad or like bitter, but you just figure yeah. it out. It's just a puzzle to solve. Uh, and so anybody who's coming in making me feel unsure about anything or disturbing my peace, mm -hmm. you got to go. You got to go down mm -hmm. to a mosquito or a fly. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I just don't have time. How do you know <laughs> a mosquito? What you finna mosquito? say? Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, I'm like, hey, mosquito. Mosquitoes and the flies? Anything. <laughs> Anything. No, I was just going to say, you know, how do you know that you're not becoming what you hate? Meaning like... If I don't hate anything. I'm saying if you're upset about something or a relationship or mm -hmm. hurt about something that happened in a relationship, how do you know you're not projecting that onto other people? Uh, I think I've reached a level of self-awareness where I'm always asking questions and I'm still in a very much in like a discovery, exploration, childlike, like maybe there's something here that I don't understand. What is this? Mm -hmm. Right. What well, you mm -hmm. know, and... I'm always inquiring for like even when I get pissed like it happened last night somebody did something and like but you know it's, it's like I'd be like are you okay you need something you thirsty who you here with like I'd be trying to figure out because mm -hmm. you got to be out your mind you're not talking to me what did they do to get you that to piss you off but some I'll say girl this. like walked past and was like she wasn't looking at anyone and she just was like oh have a good night meanwhile I'm trying to get a table we went to the last lap. Okay. I don't know, some yeah. restaurant. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, they got like three tables in there. So I'm trying to eat. I'm hungry. I'm cold. I'm tired. Uh she told you have a good night. She said she said it out in the And that pissed you ether. off. Ether. No. Oh. But when she kept walking past, she and you know, I I could feel energy. Mm -hmm. She said, I guess not. Oh, but it was like directed at me now. Oh, because you ain't say nothing back to her. But I'm on my phone. I'm trying to, I'm like, maybe I could get a burger. Like, y'all take it too long. I'm hungry. Um, mm. And I turned around and I looked at my friend and he started laughing. He was like, friend, don't do it. I was like, she can't be talking to me. I know she's not talking to me. I don't like that kind of stuff. Because to me, that says that you think you could beat me up. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Wait, that was that was very regal, very tomorrow. <laughs> you think, you think you could beat me no, up? I'm, I'm, yo, I'm you know what I'm the saying? Same way. Don't talk nah, like that. Nah, you bullying me. I don't like that. Beat me up, huh? So, so, you, like so what did you say in response? <laughs> no, she she was walking out. I said she can't be talking to me. I know she not. And they just kept walking. Like I think they was like, "Ooh, yeah, don't do that." Money long. Because I'm it. very nice. I'm quiet. Like you know, people have like a perception of me. I will beat you up. Like don't do that. I said that about somebody last week. Mm -hmm. I was like, this what? person got to show me. What do you mean? <laughs> the way this it. person talking, they got to show me. They got to show yeah, me. Yeah, you can must go fight the way you talking. That. That's like, crazy. You, they got to show me they can beat me up. But if the lady said, have a good night, and she thought you heard, and you said nothing, she probably was like, she probably felt offended. Yeah, she might have been a fan. She wasn't looking at, that's, that's like me being like, good you morning. Said, <laughs> Who am I talking to? Do you know? No. Nope. How packed exactly. was the restaurant? It wasn't that many people, so it was like it so was a was section. Probably she probably talking to you. No, there was other people. Mm -hmm. She's walking past, and she said, "Have a good night to the air." Like, I mean, I see what you're saying, but she's probably not from here because that's a, that can be a, a culture shock when you're not from New York. Because you know, I'm from the south, so I greet people and I say things like mm -hmm. "peace, see you later," and nobody will respond back. But that's just a New York thing. Like New Yorkers are just rude. No, I would have said something if I thought she was talking to me. That's the other thing. I'm so nice. Like, I always take the photo. I always speak. Mm -hmm. I always, you know, mm -hmm. always. Because um, I understand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You talking to me. You ain't even saying that. Because <laughs> what did you look at? Who you talking to? That's crazy. What's the last time you got into a fight? Because you say you can still fight. What's the last time you fought? I don't fight no more. I'm oh. too rich for that now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I never lost one. Actually, no, my first fight I lost, but I beat bitches up. <laughs> I do, because yeah. I feel it's like you don't want to fight. You don't want to fight someone who is afraid. Uh, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. you don't know what they're gonna do. I'm always scared to get hit, so I'm gonna make sure you can't hit me. Mm. Never lost, but don't be not fighting anyone. Don't be taking that as a challenge. Cause I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> You're gonna go to jail. I'm gonna call those people. You have a you have a song called Thirties. Mm -hmm. Um, how much have you learned from your thirties? Um, still, yeah. Yeah. I, 
I have learned over the last 10 years because I started my self reflection and like um, internal journey at 26. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so over the last 10, I have learned that everybody's on their own individual course mm -hmm. and that you cannot interfere with free will. So no matter mm -hmm. how much I might want something for you, mm -hmm. uh, who am I to take that from you, that lesson or that, mm -hmm. um, that opportunity to grow and learn because you don't have to learn through, you could choose to learn through joy. You don't have to learn through drama and trauma. Right. But most of the time people are not motivated to change anything until th stuff gets very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I've learned to just like relax and be like, yeah, you know, we got all 10 fingers and toes. We breathing. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Grateful. Gratitude. Yeah, gratitude, but also just like a a deep understanding and like uh, lack of, like I'm not afraid of anything anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not afraid to lose people. I understand like it's probably going to hurt, yeah, but I'm but on, over it. On 30s, it sounds like you're singing about the fear of being alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's a fear, right? Um, no. Oh, that's just the space you were Not in for me, it's like I don't want that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't want to be alone. Um. Like with no companionship, that doesn't necessarily mean a relationship. Mm -hmm. That could just mean like you know, if I feel like I look cute, sometimes I might want to talk to somebody mm -hmm. and be like, mm, "Tell me I'm pretty." Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, "Yep." What made you so cold you? though? Because well, hold, like hold on, do you feel like you got married too young? No. Okay. I got married at 25. Mm -hmm. Some people would say that was young. That that was pr pr pretty young. But no, I don't feel like that. Got you. Do you think because you spent? Do you ever look back because you spent from twenty five to now thirty five married and you guys are figuring out whatever is going to happen next, next or not? That you spent so much of your time being married that it's like figuring out this new world by yourself is like it's just like a space. It's going to be so new that it's like something that maybe you are not ready to jump into or you don't know how to jump into it. Like you don't know how to navigate it. Um, Cause it's like a new, like you've never been, like you've always been in a in, mar in a marriage. You're, you're you never been single. Yeah, like you never been. I don't single. even know you're single now. Yeah, we really. No it's really hard to talk about because I don't really know like what like y'all are separated. Cause she still didn't say the D together. word. Yeah, yeah didn't. divorce didn't come out your mouth. You know, I, one thing I'll say about this, and I know a lot of people are gonna want to ask me, they're gonna want to know, but I know that my words are very powerful, and I have what I say. Gotcha. So I just want to be careful about what I say because I don't want to draw things to me. I love that for you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, I, when I say somebody's name, they appear. Mm. So I don't want to, you know what I mean? I got Beetlejuice. you. Beetlejuice. <laughs> Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. So I was asking, what turned you so cold? Because it seems like now you're like, I don't care. If somebody's in my life, <laughs> no. I'm going to turn over. What, what made you cold? Cause something I'm not had to cold. Happen. I just am focused on me. Mm. That's it. I think um, I have decentered men. Have decentered relationships and what the the world teaches you your role is as a woman. Mm -hmm. I'm just here to have fun, to experience the best that life has to offer, mm -hmm. and I will share it with who I want to, not because I feel like I need to be with. Nah, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Also, too, like what guy can handle this? You, you think know. You was that a part of it? Because he was a, your husband. You guys have done so much together industry wise in this. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it seems like it every That's time. How it I, looks. Yeah, but also to how you used to talk about him. Like, I know you talked about like y'all working on the label together and like he helped produce some of your songs, correct? Right? So it just, it seemed like you, know, you guys sometimes were Sometimes as a wife, you just want to say things to help encourage things to go in a certain direction. I, I understand. And affirm that. and, uh, What's the word? Motivate. Mm -hmm. mm. Gently prod. But that doesn't always mean that it's connecting. Wow. So I'm have, reading I'm in between the lines here. So have any of those these recent interviews prodded him to go start maybe doing the work on himself that he needs to do? What do you mean? So y'all haven't spoke? Mm -mm. And why do you think a man can't handle you? The same way you're talking about, you know, you don't want to talk about... No, you I didn't say me. I said this. All of the stuff that comes with being money long. Is Plenty of guys. I mean, there's guys. You, you, unless you don't want an industry guy. Because there's, there's guys that know exactly what you're dealing with. As a woman, I understand why industry men behave the way they behave. I would never date one. Hmm. Wow. So easy. 
You so have what? whatever you want, get whatever you want, sleep with whoever you want. You're not about to play in my face. So what what do you think changed? Because I mean, it's been you said since 24. You think the fact that you made it, it's almost like I love you when you're trying to make it, but now when you make it, things change, roles change. I don't know. I'm not. I'm only in my head. I, I only know what I'm thinking. I'm not trying to be cryptic. Um, this is just really how I think. Like, I have no idea. Mm. And I'm not trying to figure it out. Mm. Are you picking up that pen while you're going through all of this? Cause I'm always writing. Okay. Because some fire music can come from this. <laughs> my God, I'm sorry that you're going through whatever you're going through, but Lord have mercy. I know you're making some fire records. Uh, I haven't been in the studio, mm -hmm. but I probably, again, I, I get what I say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I want to make sure I'm saying things that I want to appear versus, gotcha. you know, I'm so mad. I'm not, I wake up every day so happy. Like I've surrounded myself with the most wonderful, warm, mm -hmm. funny, like me and my friend group are hilarious. Mm -hmm. That's needed. Yeah. Time so like, like it's just so fun. Like, you know, we have our own little inside jokes. Mm -hmm. I laugh through the pain. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I'll pick up something like a, a pickle and I'll be like, everything reminds me of you. You know, just like so funny. What kind of pickle? Wow. <laughs> Depends. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's a big pickle. Oh, yeah, Sometimes it's a little. I don't want every pickle to remind me of you. Now, what size is the pickle? Like, hey, yo. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> hey, yo, what hey, size yo. is the pickle? pickle right? <laughs> Story of my life. Now, when, you, when you talk about your words and your pen being powerful, do you ever feel like your some of your songs might be too op open and too honest? Like you might be putting too much out there? No. Okay. Um, you know, it's this, this weird thing that I have this effect on people where even in real life, I'm only telling you what I want you to know. There's so mm -hmm. much. But a lot of times people really think they know me. Like they feel like, oh, that's my, that's my homegirl. That's my mm -hmm. friend. I'll be like, Talk to this one time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, what? That's crazy. You don't know me like that. Mm -hmm. Um, Like, if I actually like you, I talk to you, I open up. Mm -hmm. But if I don't know you or if I don't feel safe around you, um, um, I know how to make people feel welcome mm -hmm. and warm and cared about. And I think sometimes people mistake that for, like, actual care mm -hmm. and concern. Speak to how important feeling safe around people is. Cause I, I I love when people use that term because that's truly what it is. If you can feel safe around people, you can be yourself. Yeah, the be the, I always encourage people to like be the you that you are when you're with your family mm -hmm. or with you when, you when you're with your best friend um, or when you're by yourself. Like everybody has star quality, every person, but it's when you feel safe that that comes out. And mm -hmm. I think um, a lot of us, spend time in spaces that we don't feel safe in, that we're mm -hmm. uncomfortable in, that we don't want to be in, that we feel exposed, we're not uh, confident enough to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's part of what makes a great artist and a great performer, great entertainer, actor. They're not afraid to be naked in front of people. And they're not afraid to bear their soul mm -hmm. in front of the world. That is a very hard thing to do. Um, they had me singing in the street, busking yesterday on the really? subway. Oh my God, it was so cringy. When people came up to you, it was like, can you I was sing, on the subway, you like singing. That's why you got all that dust in your nose. Why was you on the subway? I ne I, no, it was very dusty down there. Um, just, you know, getting content. You know, oh, content okay. is king these days. So I got on the train and I was asking people, like, uh, how did you know your person was made for you? Giving answers. Mm -hmm. Like, what make you feel like a baddie? Just like questions from the song. my album. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the songs on my album. Um, yeah, so then they had me singing. Like, I started singing to this older couple. They've been together for, like, 47 Aww. years. But it was so cringy, girl. Oh, it wasn't all? <laughs> huh? It wasn't all? I mean, New York subways are a lot. No, but for me, it was, like, like the anxiety I felt in my body. Oh, cause I thought somebody was going to hit me in the head and be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you have no security? No, not yesterday. Come oh, on. Oh, wait, yo, no, he was there. Yeah, he was there. Yeah. But still, this is New York, you yeah, know? Yeah, 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 yeah. He'll be like, shut up. Yeah, shut the fuck up. That's what I thought yeah, was going to happen, but it didn't. It but that's like, because you like really control your spaces normally in the subway. It's like pe people from everywhere. No, nah, but once I started singing, people was like, is that really her? That sound like... Yeah, I was cringing, though, the whole time. Wow. Um, Superpowers. Mm -hmm. What are your superpowers? Um, My superpower is detachment. Like, it really is. 
Now, in reference to the song, what mm-hmm. I'm talking about is like, I get what I say. In every aspect of my life, I'm super successful. Why not here in this, you know? In this what, relationship? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Why can this not? And that doesn't just mean romantically. It could be family, you know. Um, but why doesn't my power work in this area? Mm. I really want this. Wow. So I think so many people in relationships can relate to that. Mm-hmm. A lot of people. Because you date potential sometimes, and you see the potential before the other person does. And you're like, come on. Why? See, I don't. I can't relate to that. I don't know what that means. If I, I like you, it, I like you. It, all that other stuff don't matter. Well, I mean, I think it would be the same reason why you said that you were speaking things because you wanted him to kind of like do it or like catch on or whatever you were just saying earlier. That's kind of what I'm talking about. That's an interesting perspective. I never thought about it. People talk about potential, but if, if I like you, I like you. I'm not waiting for you to grow to be somebody else. I like you. I like yeah. who you are. But I like you, the person. I, I'm not motivated by what you do. Because that could change. Like, you could, you could quit your job and decide you want to be a chef. Not even, like, a job, though. But, like, it could be, like, how, how they talk to you or how they, I don't know, like. How do you have potential with somebody? But you like, can like the, somebody, somebody. Yeah, but like, you just, can like somebody, but. You. Oh, no, not even that. But you can like somebody and then get to know them. And you're like, you know what? I love that you do this, but I don't necessarily like that you respond this way about certain stuff. And then you guys have to figure that out. No, and that changes people one. grow. That's normally how it goes, though. That's literally what you <laughs> no. said earlier. Because potential is usually Pick attached to what one. you do. Yeah, no, how do you have potential like in that. communication? There's no potential She's single, there. I, so she needs some help. So first drop of some all, game don't be putting my business out there like that. Yeah, no, girl, I ain't no potential. You don't like how somebody talk? Get a new one. I, that's why I'm single. <laughs> like I said, toy. Yeah, no, nah, that's, that's not, not I, I, I mean, I know for me, myself, like, it, because I started young with the person that I'm talking about, once I grew to a certain point, there were certain things that I was just like, I don't know if I like mm, that. Stockholm Syndrome. Oh, wow, okay. Is it that? Would that be that? Read okay, back to you, okay. I l- no, no, I love when people back read Lauren. Tell them about herself. You. <laughs> I never thought about it as Stockholm Syndrome. you just comfortable there. I mean, I, yeah. You Comfortability grow, you was grow a lot to love your captor. Captor is Damn, crazy. Captor. Damn. Man. You know, this is probably the most difficult thing about me being in a long-term relationship is that I see... Yeah. I could see. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You can't, like, you know, there's a difference between marriage and boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah. What you was can't it? just walk away. When you guys, so outside of that being a difference, like when you guys went from boyfriend and girlfriend to marriage, what was, like, one of the biggest differences for y'all? I don't know. If I don't have a answer for that because once I like you, that's it. I'm, I'm jumping in until you be like, I'm cool. And then I detached that you asked me my superpower. Mm-hmm. Poof, you never existed. Dang. I don't wow. believe that. You don't? No. Mm. <laughs> I don't believe not with, that not with, at not all. Okay. Not with your husband. When, when or... you writing stuff like every night I've been not. crying, I can't fall asleep laying in the bed it's in my diamonds, I still wear my ring. Why are you still wearing the show, ring? Man. Huh? Why are you still wearing the ring? Not today, but she in she this song. song. Okay. But you said we were reading your diary, so we mm-hmm. take you at your word. No, that had nothing to do with y'all. All right. Remember, Some okay. things. Remember, words are powerful. Mm-hmm. Are you telling us you don't love that man no more. Um, you telling us you I, don't want to be with that man no more. When you say love, uh oh, what do you mean by that? Love, love. romantic love. No. Or, don't all look the, at me, girl. I don't know. Above. That, <laughs> I can't help you with this uh, one. Parenting love. All of the above. Spending the spit to death to us part love. We want to still be with you and have a family. Let's figure life out. Do better or worse, love? Hmm. I don't know. But you could fall out of love. I don't know. Uh, I'm very, I'm detached from it. No, I don't. you're not. You, you're okay. so tough. Maybe you are. I don't I'm know. I'm not. But, uh, didn't we talk about this last time? Um, no. We didn't. We didn't talk about me being on the spectrum. Yes, we yes, did. Yes, we did. did. Yes. Yeah. Got you. So no, you I, when I say I detach, <laughs> I really do. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Seriously. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Poof. Gone. You are not out of sight, out of mind. Jesus. There's no gray area with you. No. Is there a reattachment that happens? I don't. I mean, I don't know how that works when you're on the spectrum. I don't know. 
Uh, I think with anyone, there's a safety and trust issue. Mm-hmm. Mm. Right? Once that's violated, it's... Um, I read somewhere it takes two years to regain trust once you once it's broken. So just consistent behavior. True. Which it we talked about in the beginning. That. Depending True. on the person, it could take way longer than that, Actions. depending on how you is. Depending on what it is, but if I if I um if I consistently come over to your house and every time I come your dog bites me, put the dog up, or I'm gonna assume that you are okay with that right. and you don't mm-hmm. feel the need to keep me safe, so I'm not gonna come back over here. So he was putting the dog on you. I mean, I I know. I just- <laughs> <laughs> That was an analogy. Jesus Christ. Because they'll run with that as a headline, by the way. You know, they'll run with Peter will have a fit. You know what? I would just stay off the internet once this comes up. Oh, on the fun God. side of things, you do have Glorilla on the album. But it's, she's her. the only, only feature. feature. Why is she the only feature? Um, I, First of all, I feel like I don't really make songs that require that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, And, like, I really want to stress the fact that, like, this project was a and r It wasn't, like... Got you. I'm okay. um, just in the free in the studio freestyling making records. Like I wanted to have certain tones. Like, mm-hmm. what don't I have here? Does this song need drums? Does it not? I don't know. You know. Um. So we really thought about like who could be on my records, and it's not. I don't believe in that. Just throwing an artist on a song just because they got fifty million monthly listeners. Mm-hmm. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't make sense. I actually really like Glow. She's funny. Mm-hmm. Um super talented and she's singing on there so when i first heard it i was like oh sing Rilla. i love this for me um yeah i don't i don't make songs that if anything it would be like a, a duet male female right but who would that be there's not very many active r&b men who is there i already have a song with usher i'm working on getting one with Chris, maybe I mm-hmm. just came off tour with him. Mm-hmm. How was that? Fun. Yeah. Super fun. What did you learn on the eleven eleven tour? I learned how to push my energy all the way to the top and to connect with everybody. Um it was my first tour. So like looking back at the footage even now, I'm just like, wow, I can see like the the greenness. Um but when I was in it it's just like it was just new. I gotta, I gotta get up here. Like yeah. I, I gotta do it. Um, there was only one night where it wasn't that great, and that's just because like the first night in Atlanta, they was like, "Girl, who is you? We came here to see Christopher. We do, we do not want you." Really? Um, yeah. Even hours and hours and all the songs and all the. Things. I mean, they always in the last fifteen minutes of my set. Got you. The the arena light up. Everybody's singing. That's never gonna get old. Mm-hmm. Um. But like all the songs in the middle that maybe some people know and some people don't, mm-hmm. that's where the work is. It's like for me, mm-hmm. connecting with them and showing them mm-hmm. who I am, talking to them, mm-hmm. uh, showing my personality, things like that. Mm-hmm. So it was fun. I learned a lot. Well, what what song you want to hear off the album? Let's get into a joint off the album. One song off the album. Um, we could play Bessie. Bessie. I love Be- yeah, Bessie. Okay, down Bessie. Uh, this is a song about, first of all, this is the first song that I took uh, ever that I did not write. Mm-hmm. I tweaked a few things to make it fit me, but um, up tempos is not really my thing. Mm-hmm. I do ballads and like introspective type stuff. So when Tehran played it for me, I was like, that, whatever that is, I need that, please. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I just changed it because there's a lot of bestie songs. Mm-hmm. I just changed the spelling because that's how we actually say it on a song. That's my bestie. And yeah, it's fun. It's a fun record. You know, you know, I wanted to ask you, and you made me think about it when you were talking about performing on stage. What do you enjoy more? Because you've made money doing both, being a, a, a artist or a writer. I enjoy being able to say what I want to say when I want to say it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I also really did not have fun as a songwriter just because of the way that songwriters get treated. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. So I prefer to like have my own autonomy. Mm-hmm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, money long. We money appreciate long. you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. And let's get I'm, into I'm Bessie right to now. the next project. Don't get me wrong, Revenge is dope. Dusty. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> what? I just am because I came up on the you know Mary J. Blige, what's the four one one? My life era. Can't act like that. That heartbreak mm-hmm. music wasn't fantastic. Mm-hmm. Not saying you're going through heartbreak. 
I don't whatever know, you're going I don't through. Know, yeah, that's saying you're going through a lot of different emotions. I can't wait to hear that expressed uh, through music. But I'm not though. Why do you think that? I'm not going through a bunch of emotions. It feels like it a bit. But we, I mean, you know yourself better than we do, but. Yeah, I can't tell you I, I just can't imagine through. being in that space, you know, everything. And now it's out there in the public and you got to do press and you got to, you know, relive and retalk and all that stuff. So, yeah. No, if anything, it's a, a little bit of like frustration. Well, why y'all keep bringing this up? Why you keep reminding me? Because I forgot, Because honestly. of your two interviews in the music. Mm-hmm. That's all. You're and here. not just here, like mm-hmm. even in life. Yeah. yeah. Right. People be like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, for what? Because of the interviews in the music. Mm-hmm. That's really what it is. You okay. write a song called Ruin Me and you tell us that you're going to sleep with your ring on every night. It's like, oh. 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 Yeah. What was that? Honey violin. <laughs> <laughs> well, money long. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> it's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.